Right, we're going to need them and that. And welcome to Tuesday, 6th of February, and another new edition. So, we are looking for, not you, not you, where's the tag we're looking for? Have I picked the wrong box out there? Oh, hang on a minute. No, here we are, that's what we're looking for. So yesterday we had our part one TB test um, and I didn't bother cleaning the girls out while we were moving cattle around. I didn't see the point in the morning of having a good clean out. So only then I have to do it again because we had cattle running over everything for hours. So I gave everybody an hour until the vets had gone to sort of settle down again. Came back down to do the mucking out and couldn't because one of the girls was busy in there. I'll show you what she was busy with. This will give you a clue. Look at you. You're gorgeous, aren't you? The question is though, are you black or are you done? So that's mum, mum's the red cow, but you have got the sweetest eyelashes Right, I need to separate baby from mum. Excuse me a second. And that was the easiest way to do it. Just pull. Are you a little boy or a little girl? Let's have a look. You are a little boy. Another little boy. So yeah, we're gonna put your ear tags in with your mum's just there. And then and you can go back in. Yeah. So it's always safe to have, or safer, to have something physical between you and her when you're doing this. In between the veins. That's one. Hang on. Got another one to do yet. It's alright, mum. I know it's not nice, but gotta do it. You can have him back now. That's... Yes, he's beautiful. Yes, he is. Ugh. Let's just have you. <coughs> Go on. Very dark, isn't it? I think he's going to be black, though. Right. I'll let her settle down now. But that's everything tagged, so um, so the first calf, little chap over there, he was tagged uh, yesterday morning. Uh, that one just been tagged, and the little chap in here, well he was done first thing this morning, but it was dark then, and I thought, well, you haven't got to see me tagged every single calf, have you, so, yeah, bless. Right, so, little chap that was outside, he's staying in a bit longer. I haven't put a coat on him because he did actually warm up quite nicely and he's quite happy. So, um, but I'm gonna leave him in for a couple more days. That little chap there could go out now, but I'm waiting until later on, and, well, I'll probably wait until something else calves and then hopefully this little fella will also be fit enough to go out. I've now got to make somewhere for them to lie down quietly out of the way and hide from mums. So that's going to be a project for today. We've got to create a calf shelter in the shed. 
You'll see. We'll just top this up. They get through quite a few buckets, so which is another reason to get them out of here as soon as I can, because I haven't got to keep filling the water up. You'll see in a minute. a little bit so we'll use some of this That one didn't want to come apart at all. Won't be long, you'll get it. You'll understand what I'm doing. Might have already done it a little bit, but only a little bit. I do want it cosy. So. Yeah. 
So yeah, we've got a creep feeder. We bought this the first year we failed our TB test. We lost seven cows with little calves. And I had to have some way of helping those calves out. And we decided to buy this thing, which is for full-size cattle. It's kind of really too big for what I need. But we've got it. And occasionally we make use of it. And this is one of those occasions. I'll do. You need to swap that gate over so you can come off there and I'm gonna get the short one from in there I'm gonna to have to find something to replace you but I could probably just actually use the longer one in there so it doesn't matter that is spot on so I can put a chain around the gate there, around that leg. That's going nowhere. I could actually pull him back a few inches more, couldn't I? Do I want to do that? Hmm. I think we will. We'll just pull that back. Only six inches. Mm -hmm. other things when I'm doing this like we got TB test again on um, Thursday and I need to be at open gates including that gate and I should have opened that first oh bum yeah unless I go through that one Okay, I see a problem here. So we need this gate to come round to here. So I'm gonna have to put the I'm gonna have to put the bales in through this gate. Not the end of the world. I can kind of live with that. But yeah. Two chain. I can live with that. Still works more important really to give these little guys somewhere to get out of the wind so we can block a bit of wind off with you this is uh, I don't know if this is an Amazon man's bag or a Hermes man's bag or you know when they come in to deliver your parcels they get these great big bags 
out and you know keep the process and I suppose just to keep them clean and dry pick these up off the road so I'm assuming they didn't really want them so I picked them up and I, I've got them so I don't mind a bit of air going through I don't want to stop all draft put something along the back there might be a couple of bales little bales or something or something along the back there keep the draft out of there we will sort out bedding inside and then we can let everybody back in again that's lovely spot on should be quite cozy in here really actually if I stuff straw up and around there That'll probably be enough of a draft excluder. That didn't take too long, did it? Val's just come in to take her a seat. She said, what are you doing in there? And I told her what to do. She goes, oh, that's a good idea. I said, you think of everything, didn't you? I said, well, you know, you try to. There you go. That's the gate secured. Nothing's getting out of there. They've got a nice, dark roomy I assume we're out of space when we get a few of them but roomy they got somewhere to get out the way of mums so mums will just come here and moo at them so I don't think any of them can get in there I think the bar is too low for them if one goes in we'll have to address that but uh, yeah I'm happy with that right that's done that's done cows can come back in they're itching to come back in all right, Moody, still digging the floor up, are you? Every time I come near you, dig the floor up. Pulled all your hay out of there, chucked it on the floor, and then throw it everywhere. She's not mean or nasty or dangerous. She's just like, I don't like you near me. Or I don't like you near my calf. Which is fair enough. I'd rather that than I'm not interested in the calf. Do I need this chain? I expect a few of you asked. Why is he put a chain on as well? Uh, this is a 14 foot field gate, not a yard gate, which means it's a bit flimsy, which means it's a bit flexible. Um, which also means that if I got enough cows pushing on that, there's enough bend in it, it could pop out of the bolt hole. So that's just belt and braces. All right, you can come back in now. So like I said, these guys are going to stay in here. They've chucked all theirs out on the floor as well. So I couldn't have given up with the things. I've given them a load more over there. So don't worry, they've got plenty to eat. And they've got plenty to drink. Although you just seem to like blowing bubbles in it, didn't you? Hello, sweetheart. You are right? So, uh, yeah. They'll stay in there all of today, unless something else calves. In which case then I might chuck them out. And hopefully the calves will find that over there pretty quick. Get in there, cosy. Do you know what? Sleeping bag and a pillow. I could sleep in here. I, okay, you might have a few visitors in the night, but you know, you, you could. We didn't get that done till what, half past eight last night and everything was settling down really so um i thought i'd leave leave the rest of it till this morning so they don't mind <sighs> so do this well i think that's it for an hour i could have an hour off I've got to do some work for the tree company. Just in the process of pricing up a big tree planting job. 
Um, some of the trees are, the quotes I've had so far, £800 each. So yeah, it's, it's over, and there's 20, 25 of them. So I've got to get this right. Are you going to leave me alone to do this, or are you going to kick and bellow? Come on, out of the way. Out of the way, out of the way, get back, get back, go on. Get out of it. There's going to be ooze and orns and flying in all directions in a minute. brains you go around instead of trying to reach it from there look just back up and go around the corner and you can fill your boots or not all right okay you carry on do it your way oh look Mabel what's that in there oh I look well, what's that in there oh I say um I can't get in there Mabel that's all right Ethel don't worry about it. Babies can go in there. That's for babies, not for you. Right, I'm being a typical man, man's man, and I'm looking at boobies. I'm looking at boobies and body shapes. So, because she's getting some boobies on here. She's not. You, hmm, not yet. She is, how many calves? Go on, have a guess in the comments box below because we've got another two days, well, day and a half before we we're reading our TB test. How many more calves? We've got three now. How many calves are we gonna have when it comes to TB test? It might still be three, and I'm kind of open that is it. It's just giving you the three. Looking at these girls, more likely going to be more. And every extra calf makes the job that bit more difficult. 